Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft Intune and from this video we are going to start MDM which is Mobile Device Management. Now if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video we have discussed about the Selective Wipe, a feature available with Intune MAM wherein you can get only the enterprise data removed from the device. Whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing what is Intune MDM, what are the three different phases of configuration that can be done from Intune MDM console. Since the first one is device enrollment, so we'll start off with that. Then we'll talk about the types of devices that can be enrolled in Intune. Is there any platform limitation or not? And what are the different enrollment methods which are available? So let's talk about what is Intune MDM. Intune MDM is the service offered by Microsoft in which you can enroll mobile phones and PCs and it can be a user object or an admin. Anyone can enroll these devices. But the question comes why exactly a device enrollment is required. Now the reason behind that is your enterprise has certain security and compliance standards. Depending upon that, there will be certain compliance policies, security policies, configuration policies which are created. Now when you enroll your device, all these policies get pushed to your device. If I talk about inventory management and app deployment, this is very common nowadays for every MDM solution, but in case of Intune, these things are slightly more organized. Now let's talk about Intune MDM configuration and three different phases. The first one is enrollment. That means this is the section where you will be defining the settings wherein what kind of platform is allowed, whether you are allowing the personal devices to get enrolled or not. The next section is compliance policies. These will be the set of settings on behalf of which it is decided whether your device is compliant or not. Now, when I say compliant, I mean that as per the policies which your enterprise is defining, whether your device has all those capabilities or not. Let me explain this with an example. Think about a scenario wherein I am enrolling a Windows 10 PC and the compliance policy of my enterprise says that your device will only be compliant if it has BitLocker. Now, let's say for some reason this setting is not updated as it is in Intune service. Then in that case, since this setting cannot be checked, my device will not be compliant. But still, the device is enrolled in Intune. The third section is the configuration policy. Now, if you guys have lately observed the Endpoint Manager console of a new portal, which is endpoint.microsoft.com, all the admin templates that we used to create with group policy objects, they are available now. So depending upon the user's job role, if there is any certain configuration that you want to apply at the OS itself, this can be done from the configuration policies. Now, all these three section of policies, which is enrollment, compliance and configuration can be defined for four different platforms, which is Windows, iOS, Android and Mac OS. And practically, it is not possible to cover up all of them in one single video. And since this is the first video of the MDM series, so we are starting off with Windows enrollment settings. Now, as I'm talking about Windows, the device which you are trying to enroll, it can be personal or it can be corporate owned. If you are enrolling your personal device, then the enrollment method will be BYOD. And in case of corporate owned device, you can choose device enrollment manager. This is account which can enroll up to thousand devices or you can choose bulk enroll or you can choose co-management where a device can be managed from SCCM as well as Intune and the last one is autopilot. Now I will be covering all these enrollment methods specifically in a dedicated video but as of now just remember that for Windows these are the enrollment methods which are available.
Now, whenever you enroll a device in any of the MDM solution, there are certain process which happens under the hood. The first one is that whether a specific enrollment method requires your device to be reset. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say I am enrolling my personal device before my device gets enrolled, whether it needs to be reset or not. Then there is something called user affinity, wherein the device that I'm going to enroll is getting associated with my user object or not. And the last set of setting is locked, that once I have enrolled my device, whether I will be able to unenroll this device or not. And all these three components have their own purpose in depending upon the method that you are choosing to get your device enrolled. So this is a table which has the references and which method what feature will be available. So the key take away from this particular table is that if I talk about reset it will be only done if you are using Windows Autopilot enrollment. So when Windows Autopilot enrollment is initiated by the user, a device reset is required. In case of BYOD and Autopilot enrollment, device gets associated with the user object. And none of the methods as of now offers this capability to get the device completely logged. And that's the reason why there is something called DEM. Now understand this, enrolling and unrolling a device from an MDM solution requires an admin access. But when we'll talk about DEM, I will specifically let you know how you can achieve a use case scenario wherein you want to give an enrolled device to your users, but they should not be able to unenroll the device. So this was all about knowing the basic fundamentals which you must know about in June MDM. And since we have started with device enrollment, we have covered the types of devices which can be enrolled. In a nutshell, all the devices can be enrolled. It can be mobile phone, it can be PC, it can be personally owned, it can be corporate owned. And when it comes to platforms, as of now, Windows, iOS, Android and Mac, these four are supported. Enrollment methods are depending upon the OS that you choose. We have covered about Windows. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the portal configuration that you need to enable so that the users can enroll their devices and I will be specifically talking about BYOD. So if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. If you think that our channel is helping you to learn new technologies, please feel free to share this with your technical community.